day two for Mentebe. Nothing much exciting to report other than uh, I'm going to be taking a plane now in a little while. Just an hour flight, 45 minutes to go see the mountain gorillas. Uh, breakfast this morning was poached eggs, cucumber, avocado, uh, some muesli, lots of fruit, lots of different uh, fruits here, a lot of pineapple, help with my digestion, uh, keeping the protein low, and uh, just not really sticking to a schedule, but making sure that I get my run in every day. Today is a little easier, I've got less fluid retention. Um, I obviously held a lot of fluid from yesterday, uh, from the flight yesterday, as you can see. Not much fluid today as it was yesterday. I drank a lot of water yesterday, and uh, I'm feeling still a little bit tough on the cardiovascular system, and that's only because I didn't have breakfast that long ago. Had a good night's sleep last night. No schedules, no alarms, no emails, no deadlines, no shoots and uh, no seminars and stuff like that to wake up to. I thought it'd take me a little longer to unwind, but it hasn't taken that long at all. So, um, yeah, everything's feeling good. Really enjoying this break, even though it's only just started. I haven't hit much of the adventure yet, just settled in. Got to speak to the locals here and look at that beautiful view. So far, what I've seen of Africa is a beautiful place. The culture is really nice, very positive. The music sounds Jamaican to me, but it's cool. Looks like I've got a, a rush hour of one-way traffic ahead of me here, look. Okay, I'm gonna continue with my run over and out. Still day two here and uh, I'm just eating now before I take the flights to go see the mountain gorillas. I'm told that we've got a long hike ahead of us tomorrow, maybe eight hours. Um, so I am fueling up a little, not too much. I'll be fine with the hike. I'm fine with walking. I'm looking forward to it. I'll take a little bit of beef jerky with me maybe and plenty of water uh, and hydrocharge. I've been supping on the hydrocharge a lot here. I just want to make sure that I'm really really hydrated so even though i'm on a low protein diet here because i'm not weight training i'm just running i am still getting some protein in me every now and again little bits but now i've just had um, i've got a chicken salad here that i've had customed um for myself so i've got some tomatoes chicken boiled eggs lettuce and cucumber with some uh, balsamic vinegar there so i'm going to knock that back now and uh, just to ensure that I don't lose all my gains, you know, I work freaking hard for these. Uh, but, you know, I'm not too bothered about allowing the inflammation get out of my body and feed it with a lot of antioxidants. Oh, yeah, I've got to say I've got pineapple in there as well, speaking of antioxidants. And uh, making sure that I'm fully rested, recover, replenished from when I hit the gym when I get back in several weeks of time. But until then, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm thinking about this next meal, so out. He's, this girl is like literally two feet in front of me right now. I just can't believe how close we can get to her. Look at her. Don't be tempted to tickle its belly you now. He's stretching his hamstrings out there. Right? He's <laughs> limbering up before he climbs the next tree. Oh, I could almost touch. I could almost touch this thing. That's amazing. Lay down beside us. New friends. This is what they did yesterday on the fresh food at like 50 damn 50 minutes. How many times? That's insane. Every time I go to put this camera away, I'm a sucker. I keep getting it out because I just cannot explain the beauty of this place. You see the mist right up in the trees there? Well, there's smoke there, but past there, you can really see the mist. You can't really see it too much. It kind of 
reminds you of uh, Gorillas in the Mist, you know what I mean? But, um, my tune is right now, no, it's just a picture. Anyway, I was going to say, uh, man, I'm probably not going to be the best financial advisor out there for all you youngsters, but I'm encouraging you, don't bloody save your money for materialistic possessions or for that rainy day. That's probably in 20, 30 years' time. Get out there and enjoy the world, man. Experience this. It broadens the mind. I tell you, it's beautiful. This stuff like this is priceless. Like, I'm happy as long as I've got a roof over my head and I got a car that'll take me from A to B. Other than that, I don't really care if I can afford to experience things like this. This is amazing for the for the soul and for the mind and this is something that you'll carry forever so I'm encouraging I sound like an old man now I'm encouraging all you out there all you youngsters anybody just get out there and enjoy the world puts a special burn on the sunsets and the sunrises as Henry Rowland says thanks for watching guys please like comment and subscribe if you want more videos like this